Hello class, may I request everyone to please stand for our opening prayer. Prayer leader, please lead us a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning class, how was your day? Very good. Class leaders, please pass the attendance sheet for me to know who are the absents for today, okay? Thank you. Congratulations, there's no absent for today. So before we proceed to our new lesson, here are our objectives for today. Everybody read. Very good. So I hope that we can meet all of these objectives at the end of our lesson. Okay, so before we proceed to our new topic, who can still remember the previous discussions that we had? Anyone? Okay, Kim. Very good. Our previous topic is all about the occupational health and safety practices. So what is the importance of occupational health and safety practices in electrical installation and maintenance? Okay, Arthur. Very good. It is so very important for us to be aware about the risk and hazards in the workplace. So I am so happy that you still remember our previous discussion. So now, I want you to focus on the words written in the board. Okay, everybody read. Okay, thank you. So you have to be familiar with these words because we will encounter these words in the middle of our discussions, okay? Okay, but before we proceed, I have here four scrambled words. Each word corresponds to our topic later. So if you have an answer, just raise your right hand and please observe silence and don't answer in chorus, okay? Very good. So here is the scrambled word number one. What do you think is it? Shh. Please quiet. Don't answer in chorus. Okay. Okay, Elizabeth. Very good. It is screwdriver. So here is the scrambled word number two. Mm, okay, Arthur. Very good. It is flat screwdriver. Okay, so here is the scrambled word number three. Okay, Athena. Very good. It is driving tools. So here is the last scrambled word that you have to guess. What do you think is this? Okay, Bianca. Very good. It is wrench. Very good, everyone. I am so very impressed with your cooperation and attentiveness. So now, I know that everyone is so very excited for our lesson today. Am I right? Okay, very good. But before that, let me group you into two groups. Please count one and two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so group one, please stay here. And group two, please stay there. But before you proceed, let me give you first the house rules and the instructions for our activity. First, when you go to your respective groups, please don't drag your chair. Second, everybody must cooperate with your leader. Third, please observe silence. Fourth, if you have a question, don't hesitate to approach me. So here is my instructions. In every group, there must be a leader. The leader will be the one to consolidate all of your ideas and the secretary will be the one to write it in a manila paper. I will be the one to produce the manila paper and the marker. So here is the instructions. So in a manila paper, list down all the electrical hand tools that you know. And don't forget to label it to uses. I will give you 10 minutes only. Afterwards, the leader will be the one to report it in front of the class. So, is there any questions regarding to the activity? None? Are we good? So, if there's none, please go to your respective groups and please observe silence. So, time is up. Group 1 leader, please present your group output. 
Okay, very good, Group 1. Group 2 leader, please present your group output. Very good, Group 2. Wow, I am so happy with your outputs today. Please give yourself a warm round of applause. Now, please go back to your proper seats and please arrange your chairs. Okay, so how did you find the activity? Anybody from the class? Okay, Blight. Okay, very good. You found the activity very interesting. So what do you think is the connection of our activity to our new topic for today? Any other hands? Okay, Mike. Very good. Our lesson for today may be about the electrical hand tools and equipments needed in electrical installations and maintenance. So before we proceed, please refrain from talking and please listen to me carefully, okay? One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, three, eyes on me. Okay, very good. So before we proceed to our discussions, what are our objectives again? Do you still remember? Okay, first, identify the different electrical hand tools and equipment. Second, draw and la label the electrical hand tools and equipment according to its specifications, uses, and functions. Third, value the importance of electrical hand tools and equipment. So I guess you are all ready for our discussion. So our lesson for today is all about electrical hand tools and equipment. So electrical tasks can be accomplished systematically to save time, effort, and resources. So most of the work cannot be done using bare hands. Do you agree with it? Okay, very good. To do the task, electrical tools or equipment are needed to perform the job. So this lesson will discuss the function of each tool or equipment used in electrical wiring installations. So these are the basic electrical hand tools and equipment. So we have here the first category, which is the driving tools. When we talk about driving tools, um, Okay, Arthur, please read. Okay, very good. Driving tools include a variety of steel tools used to install, repair, and maintain variety of connections. So what are those? Install, repair, and maintain variety of constructions. Okay, very good. So we have here the first tool, which is a, what is it? Very good, a screwdriver. So what do you think is the use of screwdriver? Okay, Alexa, very good. Okay, nice, great. Um, the function of screwdriver for you is to loosen or to tighten screws. So let's see if that is the main function of a screwdriver. Screwdrivers are used to loosen or to tighten screws with slat heads. So very good Alexa. So we have here four types of screwdrivers. So what is the first type of screwdriver? So Anton, please read number one. Okay, very good. When we talk about standard or flat screwdriver the blade tip is wedge shaped and resembles a negative sign so if you see a screwdriver who has negative sign it is called it is called what okay a standard or flat screwdriver very good so second type of screwdriver is everybody read very good so phillips screwdriver when we talk about phillips screwdriver this has a cross tip resembling a positive sign this is used to drive screws with what scross slat heads so if you see a screwdriver who has a positive sign what is it again again okay very good it is Phillips screwdriver. So, the third type of, of screwdriver is stubby screwdriver. 
when we talk about stubby screwdriver, what is it? Um, Ian? Very good! When we talk about stubby screwdriver, this comes in either standard or Phillips screwdriver with short chunk or blade and a shorted handle used to turn screws in tight spaces where standard screwdriver cannot use. So, if we talk about stubby screwdriver, it has a short chunk. It is just the same with Phillips screwdriver. The only difference is that stubby screwdriver have short chunk or blade. Okay, so the fourth type of screwdriver is... Okay, Brianna. Okay, thank you for reading. This um, Allen screwdriver or wrench, this could be in the shape of screwdriver or a wrench. Its function is to drive a screw with hexagonal slot head. When we talk about Allen screwdriver or wrench, it, its main function is to drive a screw with hexagonal head. Okay, so I have questions for you. What is the main functions of screwdriver? Any other hands? Okay, Blight. Very good. The main functions of screwdriver is to loosen or to tighten screws with a slot head. So, there are how many types of screwdrivers? Okay, Brianna. Very good. We have four types of screwdrivers. Can you give me one, Alexa? Okay. Standard screwdriver. Anton? Okay, very good. Phillips screwdriver. Um, Brittany? Very good. Stubby screwdriver. Um, Rizne? Very good. Allen screwdriver. So, those screwdrivers are classified as what? Okay, very good, Anton. All those screwdrivers are classified as driving tools. So, is there any other questions, clarifications? Are we good? If there's none, I want you to get one half sheet of paper and answer the following questions written in the board. I want you to copy and answer it. Okay? So I will only give you 10 minutes to answer. After 10 minutes, I will collect all your paper. The 10 minutes starts now. Okay, time is up. Please pass your answer sheet forward. Class Beatles. Please collect the answer sheets in front and please pass it to me. Thank you, class beetles. So for your assignment, I want you to make a research about the striking tools used in electrical installations and maintenance. In a clean, long band paper, draw at least five striking tools and don't forget to label its functions. Okay? So I think that is all for today. Did you learn something? Okay, very good. So do you still have any clarifications, any additions? Okay, there is none. So I think that is all for today. Um, prayer leader, please lead us a closing prayer. Okay, thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you everyone for your active participation and see you tomorrow for the continuation of our lesson. Okay, God bless and goodbye.